This is one of our core gripping roll handling units. It's fully powered, so all the functions are powered. We basically drop this core gripper into the roll. This also can be changed. It's got a quick change system on for 150 and 76 mil core sizes. And we also have this anti-telescope pad. This moves in on the hydraulics and pushes on the outside of the pad. The, we can adjust the clamp pressure as well, so for different roll types. So first thing we do, switch it on. Make sure no one's forward of the unit, everyone should be behind this position. We drive it forward. Once we get close to the roll, I can have another look, we can see where we are. We need to come a little bit further forward. Once we're lined up with the roll, we can then drop the head down into it. So we do this by pressing the lower button. Once the core is fully inserted, we're going to press the clamp button. Now we're going to keep this pressed and I'm going to be watching this clamp pressure meter here. So this pressure meter has got a needle and the needle will go from the red all the way up into the green. So let's press that now. Now once we pressed up you can see the core gripper is done and the anti-telescope has gone in. There is an accumulator in the circuit which has nitrogen in it. This heats up and what happens is the nitrogen cools down and you'll notice the needle falls just a little bit. It's still in the green but it's fell down just a little bit so we can top that up by just pressing the clamp press up button again. So we're in the green, we're ready to lift the roll. We do that by pressing the lift on the panel. Once we've lifted the roll, check again either side that we're clear to rotate. There's no obstructions or anything like that. This particular unit has been designed to actually drop this onto a table. So it's going to basically go onto a table and put it in place or take it off a table and then put it in a box. So when it's in the horizontal like this, we are actually safe to unclamp the unit. So I'll show you that now and you'll be able to see this pad here coming away from the roll. To unclamp, you have to use both hands and this is to stop you accidentally unclamping the unit. So we go to the unclamp buttons and we press this until the clamp meter shows zero. So that's it unclamped. Now obviously, if we rotate this into the vertical now, the roll will slide off. So before we put it back into the vertical, we need to clamp the roll back in again. We do this again, pressing the clamp button. Again, the nitrogen will cool down, the gauge will drop a little bit. I can top that pressure up. That's it, I'm in the green. I'm ready to now rotate the roll. Drop down. Press the down button. Unclamp. Two. Watching the pressure gauge going down to zero. Then we can lift the head out. Unit's very manoeuvrable. We have this rear wheel tiller steering, so we can actually move in quite tight circles if you want. Okay, we're now looking at the rear control panel. First thing to notice, emergency stop. If you want to stop at any function at any time, press that down, that cancels all the power. To reset, we lift it up. At the back of this panel here, this is the tiller. 
the steering tiller, there's a key. If we push the key in and switch it on, this is the battery condition meter. This does things like it gives you fault codes if there's a fault and once you switch it on it goes through a setup process and eventually it'll come up with the percentage of battery charge you have on board the unit. It's good to keep the batteries charged up. The charging connection's here and just plugs into the wall. It's a 230 volt. Um, now looking this is the control panel. It's split into various groups. So you see here, these two buttons with the yellow badge around is the rotate of the head. And then we have the lift on this panel. And this is the clamping panel here. Couple of pressure gauge meters here. This is your core clamp pressure here. And this is what we were talking about before, about the needle going up into the green section. It must always, when you're lifting a roll, be in the green. If the pressure drops, it means you're losing clamp pressure and you should put the roll down as quickly as possible. This one is the actual anti-telescope clamp pressure. And that's that pad at the front that grabs, that pushes on the outside of the roll. Now, we haven't any markings on this because this is something you have to set up on site to suit your roll types. So here is the anti-telescope pressure adjuster. So this, if we turn it left, we reduce the pressure, and if we turn it right, we increase it. So if we increase it, when you press the clamp button to clamp the roll up, this pressure will be higher. And if we turn it anti-clockwise, the pressure will be lower. So you'll squeeze the roll less. Okay? Now, first thing we've got to do, we're going to clamp the roll up. So we're going to press this clamp button. So we press the clamp button. You see the meter going up now. Okay, so when it's in the green, you'll notice, see the pressure just dropping a little bit back. That's as the nitrogen cools down, it's still in the green. If we want to top it up, we just top it up. Next thing, so we've clamped the roll now, we're quite happy, we're maintaining clamp pressure. We want to lift the roll. So we press lift. Now as I'm lifting it up, this is rotate enable. Now what this means is, is we don't allow the unit to rotate the roll when the roll is close to the floor because it might clash with the legs. So when it's high enough to allow rotation, this will illuminate. So you'll see now as I press it, that's it. So we have sufficient lift height to enable these buttons now to be live. So we want to rotate, press rotate in the opposite direction. Okay, now what we're going to do now is going to lower the roll down and now we're ready to unclamp. So we use two fingers here, press unclamp, we watch this meter until it goes all the way down to zero. So two fingers, and that's unclamp. Moving on to the tiller, so this is the tiller here. So you have two butterfly throttles here. So if we rotate them, we drive forwards. And if we go backwards, we drive backwards. Okay? This is an auto-reversing button. So if this touches our body, as we're going backwards, it changes the drive to forwards. And as soon as we let go of the throttles, it will reset. It's a safety feature. Then we have a horn. And also, you have the lift and lower buttons here they're replicated on the panel here as well. So we can lift and we can lower from the panel. The tiller, this is the park position and it can't drive in this position. And so the tiller has to be pulled down to operate the drive. If we let go, it returns into the vertical position. We're now looking at the front end of the unit and we're gonna make some adjustments here. So the first thing you need to do is take the keys out and put them in your pocket. Make sure no one gets near the controls. Without the keys in, it can't operate. Because obviously these are the clamping functions we need to, to isolate the unit. This one here, you can see there's a hole here. There's a pin back here. We can actually take this out and we can move this down. And this just changes the clamping range for smaller to larger rolls. 
Now this one is a 150 core gripper. So what we can do is take these parts off. They can be stored on the back of the unit where there's a bracket. But to take it down now from 150, we undo this clip, remove this pin, we just take the pins out. We take the front end of the nose cone off. Then this sleeve here slides off. That's it. We're now, we don't have to, I don't actually have to put any pins in here now. That's it. The system's now, it's a 76 core size. And we can go and pick up 76 cores. To refit it, so you've just got this cylinder like that. It's not that heavy, but be careful you don't drop on your foot. Put it over the cone, slide it to the base, get our nose cone assembly. This actually goes inside the slot there. So that you pick, pick this up a bit, put it in, and turn this till the hole lines up. Take our pin again. Push it through. Put your locking pin round. That's it. Back to 150.